Hey, Joe Arx, Healthy Habits coming at you with today's video on You Ask, We Answer. On this video, uh, the question that a lot of people have is, how do I prevent how do I prevent myself from gaining weight when I go on vacation? And this is an important topic. I'm just going to give you three tips that I think if you follow these three tips, these three strategies, it's going to be remarkable on how it can really reduce your chances of gaining weight and exercise. Number one, you want to make sure you have a higher percentage of protein than carbohydrates when you're on vacation. You want to keep that really up there because a higher protein diets have been shown versus lower protein diet uh, in the short term especially have been shown to really reduce uh, your weight gain. Uh, a couple reasons for that. Number one is you have a sense of being full and eat more protein than carbohydrates. And number two, there might be a little bit to be said for your digestive tract having to work on the protein. Uh, thermogenesis, that might be a little bit less of a fact. But it's important for you to really limit the amount of carbohydrates when you're on vacation. So that means some of the things that typically go with vacations, like some of the sweets and the pastas and the breads, fine. Really limit those and have more of the protein raw vegetables uh, and, and go with the lower glycemic uh, choices always. Number two, this is a big one now, this is one I think I was shocked, but you want to walk after meals and you want to try to get exercise when on vacation. I know that sounds counterintuitive, especially trying to get exercise, but let's talk about walking. A study from NIH, and I love to read it to you, but it's all on my blog, and it'll be probably in the notes of this video. NIH studies show that if people ex uh, walked after eating a meal, especially the eating meal when there was more carbs and more calories consumed, especially more carbs, they sh showed a big difference between that and if you just walked one time during the day. So if you can break up and, and go out and do multiple walks, especially after main meals, it's going to make a big difference. Now, they also suggest, and you know this, you really need to think about moderate to vigorous exercise three times a week. So if you're on vacation for a week, you might want to think about getting some real good cardio in. And if you can also do some strength training, it's really going to go a long ways to mitigate some of that potential weight gain. Number three, <laughs> you can see from behind me the town I live in, um, alcohol consumption is a real issue when it comes to weight gain uh, when you're on vacation for a couple reasons. Number one, they're calories that have no nutrient value, so you don't know that you're really consuming and your body doesn't tell you, hey, you're full. So calories from alcohol, first off, they usually pack a punch. Even in a glass of whiskey, there can be 100 calories. Uh, some of the beers, even if they're lighter beers, you're still talking about 100, usually much more. So you have six beers, you got 600 calories, that's a whole meal. So here's the problem also with alcohol. Besides the fact that it can pack calories on that you don't even really feel like you're you know, getting any nutrients, besides that, they can make you kind of uh, less likely to have uh, inhibitions and you might overindulge because hey you know you got a few drinks you're gonna be more relaxed uh, and you might end up uh, consuming a lot more not just of the alcohol but also of the uh, food so I'm not saying you know you gotta be a teetotaler that's ridiculous I understand that but just also choose some some alcohol choices that are less sugary have less calories uh, some of the wines and some of the uh, whiskeys uh, I think tequila you can look this up. There's a, there's a whole list if you go online and Google it, and I'll put some of the notes here and on the blog. There's some alcohol beverages might be a better choice than others. But again, remember, they're, 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 they, they power pack the calories in there, uh, and they're so easy to go down, and you don't know that you can consume that much. So hope that helps. You have a great vacation wherever you're going and enjoy yourself. But also try to, try to keep some of the same habits when it comes to eating when you're on vacation because once you get into a lifestyle of, of eating smart or eating clean or eating healthy it's, it's it's no real reason to go off the rails just go on vacation because you're going to feel a lot better if you don't when you get back but also while you're on vacation so until uh, next time and until uh, next video